Can you believe it? For 50 cents you can get this model. It's an infrared, pure electric, infrared, pure motion sensor, detector model, motion sensor, detector model, model SR501. That it says on the title in the AliExpress. And this is 50 cent, very useful gadget. Let's take a review. And of course, I didn't order one, I ordered four of them for $2 plus shipping. Okay, let's share the basic specifications of this gadget or model. Besides that can work with a Arduino, can work without Arduino. It's a simple, it needs only 5 volts to be powered on. From the left side we have a ground, this, the middle is out and this is the positive, 5 volts. We have two potentiometers, one of them is for adjusting the sensitivity or distance adjustment and from the right we have the time delay adjustment. What does it mean? You can set the different time for turning on and off the desired controlled device or the or LED. Here we, we can choose trigger modes low and high. This black thing is the smallest 3, vo 3 volt regulator. I will tell you one secret. On these connections you can solder a photoresistor so can this sensor can work only at night not at day without that photoresistor if if you don't add this sensor will work will work all the time some of them they have it some of of those don't have it i'm gonna open just to see is it yep there is no photo resistor or photo sensor you need to add on this spot okay this is my old video that i publish on my youtube channel i'm gonna play it and this this is built on the breadboard we, here i have a small dc motor a piezo and a sensor and using only a transistor that will be triggered by the motion sensor the motor will rotate and the buzzer will sound on it's very simple circuit i will put the link of this video below this video and you can check it so what does it mean peer it means a passive infrared sensor and using this model you can do a lot of fun projects like security alarms or automatic lighting application projects it's a very cheap part and it can do a very useful things. In next minutes you're gonna watch the whole video project about making motion sensor box and that is a useful project. Please after watching give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's see the video now. Hello Hectubers and welcome back to my channel and to my studio and here it is my latest DIY project. And before I start explaining this project let me remind you of my old sound project which turned out pretty cool and amazing. It's a sound synthesizer that you can change sounds with pots 
or you can use these light sensors. Okay, if you want to watch this project, please visit the link below. Thank you. Now let's proceed to today DIY project, which is called Automatic Motion Sensor for Lights. Okay. And before explaining all about this box, let me explain the, the circuit. Here it is. It's drawn in 2023 and I have made a couple of these pure motion LED spotlight circuit. I don't know why I title like that, but it's a pure motion circuit for any kind of bulbs or LED lamps. As I said, here it is the whole schematic for making this project. And we're gonna start from adding a fuse for the whole circuit to be protected from the direct line AC voltage, go to the transformer. From here, we're gonna drop the voltage from 220 volts to AC 6 volt that need to be converted into DC voltage using a bridge rectifier and here we get uh, plus and minus 6 volt DC voltage I also use a voltage regulator 5 volts so I can power this circuit which is a pure sensor using a 1 kilo ohm resistor to control the n pen transistor that will control the relay and the relay will control with on or off the the lamp or the bulb also here we're gonna add one more fuse and here it is the whole circuit if you want to to build a project like this one here it is one of my auto motion LED reflectors and here it is another one there is the box with the mo pure motion sensor that control the LED reflector at front of the box we have the pure motion sensor and one 5 mm LED blinking LED and here the pure motion sensor together with the 5 volt relay there is the transistor for controlling the relay two wires that are for the output for the bulb these thin wires are 5 volts for powering the pure motion sensor and the, the relay I have used also a 1 kilo ohm resistor for the LED 5 mm self blinking LED that we will indicate that the whole circuit is working. Okay. Here I have a connector for connecting the direct line and the out for the bulb. Here it is the fuse and from direct line go to the fuse. From here go to the transformer and from the transformer the AC voltage goes you can see here to the bridge rectifier here it is the voltage regulator 5 volts and from here goes to the pure motion sensor and the relay that's it now I'm gonna close it and test it
by the way if you like this project please share it and give a like that means a lot to me it means that you like my content and I will proceed to make great DIY project just like this one it's a 100% finish it and just to explain here on these two terminals you connect the direct AC line of 220 volts here and here it says and on these two terminals you're gonna connect the bulb or the LED reflector I found this old box I missed the lid but I make my own lid from PVC pipe everything is tight with screws for the peer motion sensor for the transformer for the voltage regulator here for the fuse everything is good everything is connected the bulb on the output and here I have a 220 volt AC I'm gonna plug it the blinking LED means that it's working but why the bulb is not turned on because the peer motion sensor detects light and this will work only at night if I cover there is still bright in my studio I'm gonna turn it off the lights the studio lights try it now nope yes it's working when it detect movement in night the bulb will be turned on for a time that you can choose on the pure motion sensor which is good now should be turned off come on waiting that's it it's working fine let's try it one more time yes I like this kind of project which are very useful but let me remind you that it's very dangerous to work with 220 volts AC voltage please be careful that was all for today project please give a like share the video and subscribe to my channel see ya